We are in Itasca, and I'm saying that because I am now in a kilt, and we're previewing the Scottish Festival and Highland Games. Although, Gus, you probably say it better. Give us a good Scottish Festival and Highland Games. It's the Scottish Festival and Highland Games. The Scottish Festival and Highland Games. Perfect. All right, I'm here with Isla and the rest of the Highland Dancers. How y'all doing this morning? Isla, what kind of kilt am I wearing here? The Buchanan kilt. Why is it called the Buchanan kilt? Because it's my last name. Oh, it's your last name, yeah. so it's the family's kilt. Yeah. I gotta say, it's really flashy. A lot of bright colors here. I appreciate it. It looks great with this coat. You guys ready to perform for us in just a little bit? Yeah. Are you ready to tell us all about this festival? I am indeed, of all course. All right. We're getting set up, Gus. We can see the tents behind us. It all starts today. What the heck is the Scottish Festival at Highland Games? It's when we bring Scotland to Illinois. There's every aspect of Scottish culture, from music to dance to food to, of course, whiskey and haggis will uh, be right. here. Uh, and we invite everyone who's Scottish by birth, by heritage, or simply by inclination to come and be Scottish for at least a day. And you can see some wonderful stuff. The, the biggest pipe band championship in all of the United States is happening this weekend in Itasca. And what's the log throwing thing that we've seen? Uh, people often tell me, where do you get all these telephone poles that you Scots yes. throw around? That's called a caber and it's part of the heavy athletic competition. We have the Michael Jordan of the sport. <laughs> oh, Literally, wow. he holds five world records and he's gonna throw here this weekend. And you're gonna let me throw one in a little bit, right? Of course, yes, of course. Very, very, very yeah. Everybody has to. I followed the, uh, filled out all the insurance forms. By the way, over here we have the Highland Dancers. Why don't we go ahead and get them started? Because they've got some great things going on. I mean, this is just part of the arts. And, I mean, it's fun to talk in the Scottish accent and stuff, but it has a rich, Scots have a rich history in Chicago. We do, absolutely. We're the oldest charity in Illinois. We've been around since 1845. And we've been bringing Scotland to Chicago, bringing something of home for Scots and adding to the kind of cultural fabric of Illinois for 175 years. We were actually formed three weeks before the state of Texas was part wow. of the Union. Yeah, that's incredible. All right, we're going to talk more about the Scottish Festival and Highland Games in just a little bit. But today, tomorrow, Itasca, you can see uh, 290 behind us here, in, or uh, the 390 right behind us, so you know where it is. It's easy to find. It's right here in the heart, just next to O'Hare in Itasca. That's yeah. wonderful stuff. All right, guys, more later on. I, I'm going to have to learn one of these dances. Oh, I'm doing okay. Back to the studio. Chris, back to you. Get in there, John. Nice work. Guys, who has the best kilt? Red, green, purple, or John's? Uh, I don't know. I think I'm going with purple. <laughs> purple all the way. John, John we John, love you. John, John has every color. I got your back, John. I'm going with you, John. I'll, I'll go with There's John. purple. <laughs> purple is so cute, though, yeah. <laughs> all right. We have Zoe, we have Mallory, Isla, Sally, and Maggie. And just to throw one more name in there, you're the Heather Queen. What does that mean? I'm the Goodwill Ambassador of the Chicago Scots. I do a lot of work at Caledonia Senior Living, and I also go around Chicago spreading awareness for the Scottish Society. Let's give a round of applause for our Heather Queen. Very good. And we got Ben on the bagpipes as well. All right, so you guys perform all over the place, right? We do. Yes. So the dancers perform mainly in the Midwest. We have lots of competitions and performances in the Midwest, but we have opportunities to travel all around the country. And here's my audition. Yes. We're ready to go. All right, let's go ahead and start this. I've learned some of the dance moves, but I'm following the kids for the most part. And also Nancy, one of our first is off to the side. Oh, there's the bagpipe. Nice and loud to wake you up in the morning in case the cup of coffee didn't do it for you. Oh, we take a nice little bow here, and then we come on up. Oh, and then, whoa, oh, this is way faster than I thought it was. But you go back, forward, back. Oh, I'm doing pretty good. How am I, do am I doing okay? Yeah, you're good. I yeah. didn't mean to get the mic in the way. Let me try it one more time here. It's all about legs going back and forth. Oh, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. oh the spin I'm missing. All right, guys, it is the Scottish Festival and Highland Games. It's here in Itasca. It's today. It's tomorrow. It's an absolute blast here. Whether you're Scottish or you know someone that is, it's an opportunity for you to come out, get the haggish going, throw some logs around, have some fun, and, of course, see these wonderful performers, the Highland Dancers. Guys, I'm out of breath, which means I send it back to you in the studio. <laughs> I'm here with a Scottish delicacy. That's Gus, by the way. The delicacy is a Gus. This is what? This is haggis. Haggis, and you won't even really tell me what it is. It's a great Scottish secret. What I can tell you is it's delicious. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to throw this thing? We call it hurling. Well, I'm going to hurl if I smell this for another second or two. OK, uh, tell you what, we'll do the hurl in just a little bit, all of us together as one. I got a little Scottish in my me myself. Gus, you're full Scottish, right? 
full Scottish. Full yeah. Scottish. And you've got a bit of Scottish. A bit of Scottish. I don't know which part of me, though. The, the good-looking part. <laughs> okay, the good-looking part. Yeah, very good. All right, uh, there's two different competitions that uh, men and women do separately. Uh, one is involves knees. That's the men, right? That's right. We have lots of bagpiping and heavy athletic competitions, but we have some fun as well, and it's the knobbly knees contest. Knobbly knees me. competition. All right. So what do I do? Hike up my skirt or kilt? Excuse me. What do I, I shouldn't say it like that. Hike up my kilt and then what? Not, not too high. Don't okay. hike it too high. Okay. But yeah, you just show off those knees. Yeah. Those, those are some, some pretty knobbly knees. Why, what makes a, a knee knobbly? It's just an attractive looking knee. Right, you know? Okay. And then for the ladies, we have haggis hurling. Right. You told us a little bit about what haggis is, but you won't tell us fully, and I don't really want to ask too many more questions. But let's get over here to Isla. So it's about a toss, right? So we're just going to launch it? As far as you can. All right. So, Isla, are you nervous? You ready to go? Um, I'm I'm a bit nervous, but I'm ready. To All go. right. So here, why don't you move out of the way? You're going to get hit by this haggis. Let's cue up Ben with the bagpipes. All right. Here comes the hurl of the haggis from Isla. Oh, man. That went far. Give me a high five on that one. Oh, a back backhanded <laughs> high five. All right, here we go. Do I wind it up, Gus, or what should I do? Come on over here, Gus. I think you should wind it up. Wind yeah. it up, all right. Wind it up. All okay. Right. Here, here, here we Ready? Go. go. On you go, John. Watch out, Isla. Nice form, John. Hey! All right, I did it. I beat Isla. Sorry, Isla. Uh, Scottish Festival and Highland Games taking place this weekend today, tomorrow, and just come on out to Itasca, have some fun.